Vitamin E? The antidote to PUFA? I think so. So this product's called PUFA Protect. And what it is, is it's a non-GMO, sunflower-derived vitamin E extract. So all of the clinical research that I've read used D-alpha to coferol. So that's one of the isomers out of the eight isomers of vitamin E. So you have four tocotrienols and, and four tocopherols. And there's beta, delta, alpha, and gamma. And so this contains mixed tocopherols as well. It's not just alpha. You have a little bit of beta, gamma, and delta in here as well, which helps to balance, that, balance it out. But if you try to get vitamin E from food, yes, there's some in rare steak or medium rare steak. That's my favorite source of vitamin E. And yes, it is in all the foods with PUFA because it's supposed to balance it out, right? Because selenium and vitamin E and a lot of these nutrients balance out the omega-3 in say shellfish or salmon, but we're not taking into context our upbringing, right? We were raised eating PUFA extract. That's still in you. It never left your tissues. That's a really important piece to get because if you miss that context and you're anti-supplements and you think you could just heal with food alone, then you're delirious. And I think that's part of vitamin E deficiency, honestly, because vitamin E being a part of mitochondrial respiration you need that for your brain to work. You need that for your frontal lobe. You need your neurons to be producing energy to think, to have rational human thought. And so I like to look at things in terms of context, where we've come from. And I could tell you in my vegan days, in my vegetarian days, in my omega-3 supplement days, I consumed countless, countless grams, not milligrams, hundreds of grams of polyunsaturated fatty acids. Now, how long does it take to detox them from your body? I've heard anywhere from two years all the way up to four or five years. So the way I started the supplement myself was taking eight a day. I would take four with breakfast and four with dinner. You just wanna make sure that you have magnesium coming in so you can be producing glutathione. You have some red meat coming in for glutathione because what recycles vitamin E is vitamin C, and what recycles vitamin C is glutathione. And so you don't wanna be restricting honey or potatoes or fruit in the summer, which are great sources of vitamin C, because vitamin E is an antioxidant, just like C. Vitamin C and vitamin E are part of your body's antioxidant system. That's why everyone's in pain, that's why everyone's inflamed is because they're deficient in these vitamins, but specifically vitamin E. You can slam ascorbic acid, which I don't recommend because that will throw off your copper status. It's best to get vitamin C from food, but vitamin E is the big missing piece. And dosage varies. I always get the question, how much should I take? If you wanna be safe, you can take one a day and start there and then slowly build up to two a day and then three a day and then four a day. I've seen research that I actually link on my website, mitolife.co, of high dose vitamin E therapy. They're using 3000 IUs specifically for mental retardation. 3000, that's a lot of vitamin E to reverse mental retardation and help with other conditions. So if you look on Google or, or any of these search engine optimization, these websites, they're not gonna make it easy for you. They, you think that a suppressed vitamin is just gonna be put in your face? No, you search vitamin E on, on Google and you're gonna see scare article after scare article after scare article, right? That high dose causes this and that and this and that. And then you type in omega-3 and this is where the light bulb, I hope, goes off for you. All positive. And here, here's even places to buy it, right on the top. That won't happen with vitamin E. They don't show you any vitamin E supplements when you search in Google, from what I've seen. So you just start to connect these dots, right? Is it a giant conspiracy? Is there a system to keep people sick? I think so. 